Before you've not got a mat and we'll go through some uh, postures today. So you're going to bring your soles of your feet together, your knees out wide, you can hold on to your feet and then we're just going to let our knees bounce a little bit like a little butterfly. If it doesn't feel good to bounce the knees you can just uh, hold it still and try and press the knees down to the ground. For some of you uh, young ones who are very flexible then your knees might be all the way down. If they're all the way down and you're like this is doing nothing for me you can always bring some books underneath your feet and lift them up. Or the other thing that you can do is start to bring your head down and see if you can bring your toes to touch your head. Maybe brush your hair here. Smell your feet. Push your knees down. We're going to hold this for five, for four. Can you go even further? For three, for two, for one. Come back up. Take your hands behind, give it a little bounce out. Then bring your hands to your knees, bring them in, give yourself a squeeze, make yourself into a tiny little mushroom. And then release. So you're going to take your one foot down, this is my one, and take the other one. And then you're going to try and bring your foot into where your, uh, your elbow crease is, so in your arm. If you can't, you can just hold on to your foot. Then you're going to wrap your other arm around your knee. So you really have it like a little baby. See if you can rock it forward and back like a little baby. We're going to rock for five. Rock a bye baby for four. Rock a bye baby for three. Rock a bye baby for two. Rock a bye baby for one. And then release. And then now maybe you maybe you have to stay here. Maybe you can get your toe and your nose to touch. Maybe you can get your toe to your head. Maybe you can start to brush your hair. Or maybe you can say hello, hello on the phone. Or maybe you can brush all the way back. If you've got a ponytail, maybe you can reach back there. Brush your hair, say hello, smell your toe, and then release. Let's see how it is on the other leg. So take the foot in and hold it, take it into the crease of the elbow, wrap your arm around, and then rock the baby here for five. Try and stay up nice and tall, rock the bye baby for four, rock the baby for three, for two, for one. Then release it a little bit, see if you can smell your toe. Maybe you say hello. Maybe you can start to brush your hair with your feet. Maybe you can get your foot all the way back. Maybe you're one of these little flexible friends who can get your foot all the way behind your head. Maybe you can do that. Brush your hair, say hello, smell your toe, and then release. Now you're going to bring your soles of your feet together, bring your hands down so that your fingers face towards your bottom, then you're going to lift up into a reverse tabletop. Maybe if you've got a dog they might crawl underneath, maybe if you've got a little brother or sister they'll crawl underneath. And then maybe if you're feeling strong you can send one of your legs out. And then if my bottom's drop down so try and lift it up, other foot comes Foot comes down, send the other foot out, hold it, squeeze, and down, and then slowly release. We're going to come onto our backs, and then you're going to hug your knees into your chest. Make yourself into a tiny little ball, and then start to rock side to side, like a little mushroom. Take your hands down by your side, lift your legs up, and then reach towards your toes. Breathe in, and then reach up past your toes, squeeze, and then lower down. Reach up, and lower, 
and again up and lower, two more up and lower, one more up and lower and then hug your knees in. Take your hands down by your sides, lift your legs up again and then press into your hands and try and take your feet over your head. Don't twist your neck, try and take your feet to the ground and then maybe you can come into a little snail and bring your knees round your ears. Wrapping up, maybe you can wrap your arms around, maybe your feet and legs are nice and straight. Maybe you wrap again. And then maybe you can take your hands to your back and start to lift your legs all the way up, coming into a shoulder stand. Hold them here. And then take your feet back over your head. Hands come down and see if you can roll down as slow as you can for 10, for 9, for 8, for 7, you can count with me, for 6, for 5, for 4, for 3, for 2, and then allow the legs come all the way down, and release. We're going to come into a fish posture, so you're going to make yourself look like a fish. You take your hands underneath your bottom, palms of the hands down, elbows come onto the ground, and then you want to puff your chest up to the sky. So maybe this is enough, or maybe you can start to drop your head back. If you can drop your head back, it comes down, point your toes, keep pressing the elbows in, hold in here like a little fish. Maybe you can wiggle your toes, we'll hold for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Then press into your elbows, tuck the chin, release your hands from under your bum and lower all the way down. Bring your knees into your chest again, give yourself a squeeze. And then release. Then bring your legs down, bring the soles of your feet together again. Knees flop out like a little butterfly and then close down the eyes for your savasana. Take a nice big long inhale, big long exhale and again inhale and exhale. One more. And then try and let everything flop to the ground. This is called Savasana Yoga. And this is where we just allow the body to release, relax. So you can stay here as long as you like. Or when you're ready, bring the knees together. Hug the knees into your chest. And then rock up into a seat. Bringing the, these two fingers, your thumb and your forefinger together. Make a little circle. Take a big inhale. Then, <sighs> Namaste.